Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. My hair is flying around, but it is what it is. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Empire Season 4, Episode 7. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes. Not 20, maybe 10. Just scrolling Instagram. Scrolling Instagram. I'm like, girl, it is 2 o'clock in the morning. Do these damn reviews and go to hell to bed because this is my last review of the night. Um, tonight's lipstick. Love it. It is another Kat Von D, of course. The name of it is N-A-H-Z. So, I'm guessing that's like Nas uh, Fur A2. Nas Fur A2. Is that a word? I don't know, but it's what it is. So, I do like it. You know, I'm all with my darks and burgundies and reds and purples. You know, I'm very, like everything. So, yeah. Um, This episode, excuse me. This episode... They had a little sacrum thing. Lord Jesus. Anyway. Um, you know, they still ain't murdered Eddie. Like I keep asking to everything all week. I really need Eddie to die, but his ass is key gun back a goddamn cockroach. You know, we see the beginning of it, and basically the board voted Eddie back. <sighs> He's an executive consultant, which in one way or another is more dangerous simply because when someone's a consultant, it means whatever advice they give, whatever suggestions they give, that's the thing that the board or the bosses, you know, supposedly take into account um, based on what they're saying. And um, I feel like we went through all those episodes of them trying to get him out and he gets just voted right back in like, oh, well, he needed just like, just like... But no one's asking him how he lost all his money. I don't want to have a consultant in my multi-million dollar company who can't keep his own finances in order. How does that make any sense? It's not just stupid. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, why didn't y'all just kill the whole board? Like, he's fired. Kill the whole board. Like, it needs to be an explosion at the next board meeting. I'm sorry. They all got to go. You know what I'm saying? And just start brand new. Start fresh. Okay? Um, but, of course, that will be a whole thing. Because you can't have everybody at the Empire keep dying. It just doesn't seem good. You know what I'm saying? hurt the business. Anywho, so that whole thing, they pissed. They aggravated because they did all of that for nothing. So, Cookie, Andre, Lucius, Thirsty, all. The thing that Thirsty was just a lawyer in the prison when Lucius was in prison that like was that season one or season two like season two he was the you know weird suited lawyer and here he is he's a part of the empire okay um so they're all having a little conversation or whatever and could you like look we only got like one little option okay we can't do nothing else all we can do is we need to buy back the company to where it would no longer be um like publicly traded or whatever we need to do that because if we don't do that, they're going to get our company. And Lou's just like, I don't want to do that. I did all this. I did all of this to make it, you know, be on the stock exchange or whatever. All these things. And she, you know, but she's like, we, ain't have no, we don't have no choice. He then says, you know what? You're right. He's having all these memories of them when they were younger. Building it up. Build, we build it up and build it up. Solid. A. Hey. Solid answer. I don't know why that just jumped in my head. I had a whole little moment, but my bad. Anyway, but yeah, he's remembering them building it up from the ground up or whatever. He like, okay, yeah, we can't just let them take it. We we do. We have to build, you know, buy it back, even though we ain't got no money for it. So I'm like, okay, this the new fight. But I forgot, you know, the season finale comes on next week, so not yeah, you know, well next week, so we'll see how that goes. So oh, okay. Um, you know, Jamal and the Mighty Moore from Power Rangers, as I like to call his group. You know, they still making music. And, you know, but my thing is, as they're making music, I'm like, Jamal sounds like Jamal. You know what I'm saying? The group can't be anonymous when one person in the group sounds like Jamal. It's the equivalent of Beyonce trying to be in a anonymous group and we hear her singing. Bitch, that's Beyonce. 
I know Beyonce's voice. It's Chris Brown can't be in no anonymous group. That's Chris Brown. Miguel can't be anonymous. That's Miguel. Cardi B can't be anonymous. That's Cardi B. I'm like, I get that other people kind of be anonymous because we don't know who they are and they supposedly does not have as big of a, a, a platform. But I'm like, that's Jamal Lyon who sing like a sheep. We know his voice. Come on now. Don't play me like I'm stupid, bruh. But they still a secret little Mighty Morphin Power Ranger group singing, making songs. You know, you got some of them who want to kind of come out of the line, out of the darkness because their song they release is getting so much attention and buzz. And you have some that are like, well, like Jamal, like, well, no, nah, you know, it isn't about attention and it isn't about fame. You know, it's about making the music and that's it. So let's just keep making the music. I'm like, okay, boy, if you say so. Um, but I would have known that was Jamal. Point. I would know. Okay. And I would say, is that Jamal Lyon? That got to be Jamal Lyon. Listen to people. Put that other song on. That's Jamal Lyon. That's, that's who it is. And that's Tori. The, the 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 drug girl. That's Tori. You know, I, that's what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, we then see, you know, Hakeem waking up with, is it Haven or Maven? Whoever Cassie's playing on this TV show. He wakes up with her. I'm like, well, you are? Y'all a couple? Okay, cool. His phone keep going off, going off, going off. And his ringtone, his reminder thing is Tiana's song. Now, that's how you know you coochie whip. Okay, when your song, I don't like that pussy. Um, when your ex's song is your ringtone. I had an ex and we had um, our ringtones was that Nelly song, the Nelly and Tyrese. Every time you try to leave, something keeps pulling me back. That song, um, what's the name of that song? I don't know. But that was on both of our ringtones. If I hear that song to this day, I cut it off. Because I'm like, you can't you can't have certain songs as people ringtones and remind them because it is it takes you back to that time or whatever. So the phone going off. Oh, your girl, ex girlfriend's song is like, think uh, she's probably calling you, but we see no, it's Blake. So Blake been blowing his phone up and up and up and up, and he just kind of delete, delete, block, block. Nope, nope, nope. He's avoided at all costs. So he's still up in bed kissing on Cassie. I know they like quick kissing on my girlfriend, but they do kiss on everybody else too. Anywho, you know, we then see, you know, Cookie and Lucius is about to go meet with because they need to meet with people to raise money to be able to buy back the company. But here come Anika and Eddie. I'm like, oh my god, they ain't died yet either. So you know, they like, oh, I think, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, Cookie is said how Anika got crabs and she's going to get her some crab medicine. I said, oh, she got, she got the cootie, she got the dirty herpes or whatever. Anywho, they're like, are y'all going to see so and so? Oh. I guess he didn't tell y'all, you know, we just came from seeing him. So, like, Lucius the Cookie, like, how the fuck you know who we want to see? And he like, yeah, I already talked to him. They don't have enough money to even touch what Patel's doing. So, you know what I'm saying? That's a done deal. So, at this point, we like, okay. So, Cookie and Lucius has to raise enough money to be more than what Patel is trying to buy the company for. So, that's what they're trying to do. But because his number, they have to find out, though, what his amount is so they can even find out how much they have to raise so that's the whole thing so they can't go to this this particular them people or whatever you know we do see how lucius basically wants to kill eddie at this moment but because they're in the lobby of empire and he does not want to make another scene you know what i'm saying he just does not do it but i'm like you know you kill bunky for last you know what i'm saying you kill naomi campbell he killed bunky killed him dead he killed Naomi Campbell. No, Naomi, Naomi Campbell's character. You killed Shine. Why is Eddie alive? You killed Chris Rock character in prison. You, I mean, you just kind of why Eddie not dead? Like I, I, I really just don't get it. It's kind of getting on my nerve, but it is what it is. I mean, you could have at least killed Eddie on a car ride over. Like at least have his car flip over and have both his legs broken. And then, like, because both his legs broken, like, he bit his tongue really, really bad. So now his tongue is gone, so he can't talk. If he can't talk, he can't be a consultant. Boom. Someone needs to have his tongue cut out. Or he needs to bite his mouth tongue so hard he can't talk anymore. I just need, I, I know this is, I'm throwing out crazy stuff. I just need them to get Eddie the fuck off the show. Okay? Sorry, Forrest Whitaker. You get on my damn nerves. So from there... We see Cookie on the phone. We see Lucius on the phone talking to, like, Oprah and the Obamas and all these people or whatever. So, at this point in time, they've raised 
at least some money, okay? But they have not raised enough money. Why is that? Because as they're thinking they have enough money, come on the news, the stock for Empire is more expensive. So, the money they raised at this point still it ain't enough, bitch. Okay, this ain't enough. Um, so they need to get some more money. So Andre says, okay, we have to find out, you know, what is his end game. I think I can do that. I can have Eddie think I'm on his side. Like, think about it. He already think that you mad at me. You know what I'm saying? I already think that you don't forgive me. I can just play on that um, and kind of see if I can get in the middle of things and I can figure out what the number is. That way y'all know how much I have to raise. So... He goes to Eddie and Nika, and Nika like, why would you listen to him? He's playing you, you know, he's, you know, this is crazy or whatever. I mean, at this point, I know Andre wants to murder her. So, I mean, he can't even slap the bitch? No. Plus, it's his wife, so you can't be putting your hands on women. So, he's just like, you know, you, I, my father doesn't mess with me anymore, you know. They don't want to talk to me, you know. They want to take the company backwards. You both know I've always wanted the best for this company. I want to move forward. So, he like, as bad as, as you know, as bad as it is, I have to kind of come to this side and she's like you can't be believing him it's just crazy he like you know what you need me you need me he like why do i need you he's like because i'm a lion and empire is nothing if without a lion you have to have one of us you can have me <laughs> a nigga gonna say bella's a lion bitch barely she we ain't seen bella all season i think we seen bella maybe episode one is bella still around how we know she did let me not go there anywho she barely got damn lion well, she's a lion, but she ain't got no clout right now. She's a baby. She's baby Bella. If she was adult Bella, maybe. So at this point, he said, you know what? We can do a press conference, and I'll admit my loyalty to you in front of the whole world. And they end up doing that. So when they do that, um, of course, it's the whole thing, you know, Cookie, because they did it in the lobby of Empire. And so Cookie and Lucia come down looking like, oh, I'm so pissed. I can't believe you would do that. So again, it's all kind of working. So now Anika, the Patel dude, uh, Andre all cheers yay 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 let's go off more drinks what y'all would you drinking right there anywho Andre said okay you guys go ahead I gotta grab my jacket he goes back and like takes photos of the the money things or whatever he sees that the the, the 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 number is 650 million I'm like bitch 650 mi million That's a lot of money. So, Cookie and Lucia say, remember back in the day when someone had, you know, a building or a apartment and they couldn't afford it? What would we do? He like, you know, throw a rent party. You know, everybody would come, chip in to help the people pay. What We need to have a rent party. We need to have a party, throw a concert, have people donate, let them know they're doing this so that we can keep our company, whatever. It's going to be a great, great, great idea. So, I'm like, okay, I get it. Can I? I want to have a rent party. Because somebody pay my rent. It's like two months. No. Someone sent me $2,000. They didn't pay myself for like two months. Anyway. Um, <laughs> we then see Cookie and Lucius putting together like a, a, a list of who will be performing. So, Tiana's out. Tiana's a full-fledged, on-the-other-side person. So, my thing is... Whenever they take down Eddie, they need to take down her ass too. Like, Tiana got to go, bitch. I mean, they got to, like, burn all her records, cut all her weeds up. You know what I'm saying? Put, like, thumbtacks in her boots or whatever. Just make her walk around and be all uncomfortable. Like, she got to go, bitch, okay? She is not loyal at all, okay? Ugh. Ugh. Anywho. But, Hakeem is in. They want to have Jamal in. And then as they're sitting there, Blake pops up on the television. So Blake is on television with his father is on a talk show. Seeing how, yes, that's him and Blake on the picture. And how Blake all of a sudden doesn't know who he is or whatever. And then Blake pops up. I want to talk. I want to say something. Yeah, I'm here now. Because the court are like, oh yeah, give him a mic. He then says, yes, that's me in that picture. I was 10 years old, and you told me if I held my hand up that, you know what I'm saying, I would be your son, or I would be a better son, or I would be, you know, that you would feel like I'm your son, something like that. Meaning, he didn't treat him like a son. You know what I'm saying? He was probably just an asshole father, whatever. And he said, look, if you do this, whatever, it'll make us closer. He's like, so I did it because I wanted to be accepted, you know what I'm saying, as your, as your son. He says that the next day, 
you took me to one of those racist rallies, and I couldn't believe it. And he, I immediately went to live with mom, and I haven't seen you in the, in, the, in the past 15 years. Like, I saw you that one day in that picture, and the following day, I haven't seen you in the since. So you acting as if I was something that I wasn't, and like I was what you were. And that ain't true. And I don't like it. And he like <laughs> he runs and attacks them. They kind of like they they they, they tussling. It's like I said, they in a little bit of a tussle. So when Lucius and all of them see that and they realize he's not this bigoted racist undercover racist. But I'm like I said that, but y'all didn't listen to me, okay? So they say Blake has to perform too. He has to be there, okay? Because they everybody gonna like if he's there. Because again, they're trying to have people there that will make people tune in to donate money um he also like I'm gonna I'm get somebody else he then goes to Jamal he like yeah I need you and your little anonymous group to perform at the concert he like what what are you talking about he like I know that's your group you ain't fooling me he like who told you he like nobody like I know your voice bro I, I, I hear your voice it, it could be your tone and this or your tone and that but I know your voice and I know it's you so you know we need you to perform for the family with your group he like, I won't do it. You know, it's not about that. It ain't about me. I can't do that. I'll perform as myself with Jamal Lyon, but I can't bring our group. That ain't what we about. You know, we can't do that. Don't you, we just, right now, it's just about the music. It's not about the fame, the fortune, whatever. Don't you miss it being about the music? And he said, no, I don't miss not being able to feed y'all and having to hustle to, you know what I'm saying, um, feed y'all because I was making music but wasn't making any money. I don't miss that. And I was like, that's a good analogy. Sometimes a person who has money don't realize how it's easy for you to just focus on your music because you don't have any financial worries. When you're a real person in real life and you have to worry about money, you can't say, you know what? I'm not going to work my regular job. I'm just going to quit and do YouTube full time. Well, YouTube don't pay all my bills yet, bitch. Okay, they pay a couple of them. But you know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't sometimes just say, fuck it. I'm going to do this because I love to do it. And it doesn't matter if I'm ever famous or not. No, you can't do that. It's not realistic. Unless you're rich, bitch. And I ain't rich yet. So, um, we see that whole thing. You know, so now the concert or whatever, they streaming it on the, 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 the little extreme side or whatever they have. And they're raising money here, there, and every damn where. Um, at this point, we see we see Hakeem and Blake perform. They say how Blake is back. How it was a crazy, crazy, crazy situation. But he's here. You know, then here come Tiana. You don't know no fucking Kiana. Anywho, Tiana show up. Like, I just want to see what this low, low rent rent party would be about or whatever. Becky looking like, bitch, I should slap you. She's like, whatever, Tiana. So, Tiana watching Hakeem perform. And he like, okay, I want to bring out somebody who's really important, who's always been by my side. And, you know what I'm saying? She's so important to me. And she's so special. You know what I'm saying? And Tiana, oh. okay. she fixed it. I'm like, why are you fixing yourself, girl? He not talking about you. And she got full fledged with took her little hoodie off, full of her hair out, took her jacket off, <coughs> fixed her boot. He ain't talking about you. Cause she don't see behind her is Cassie's character. He was like Maven or whatever girl name is. Maven, Haven, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then she had the boo face. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, Tiana. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Walk way around her. And then her and Hakeem performed the song that him and Tiana had performed before. And she had the shitty face bitch and she had to just kind of walk away so it was what it was at this point we see eddie and patel talking to andre they say they know andre been talking to lucius and them and they it was a whole setup he's like well we knew it was a setup so we gave you a fake number but still say my number isn't 650 I'm going to 700 million. You know, you guys can't make that amount of money. You don't have it. You're not going to be able to raise it. You know what I'm saying? It's not enough. So we purposely gave you the wrong number so y'all would shoot for the wrong goal. He likes so look. You know, you have a family you're born into and the one you kind of can be put into. You know what I'm saying? Your family does not appreciate you. They don't care about you. They don't know how you're a genius. And he just kind of smooths them up, smooths them up or whatever. He was like, look, um, you should be with us. You belong to us. So, we, we need to go to your family, call off this little rent party, and if you do, we'll make you the CFO of the company that will take over Empire. You know, it'll be, it's all you ever wanted. You always wanted to be CFO of a company or whatever. It's your dream come true. And all you have to do is stop the rent party. And so, I'm looking like, oh, Dre. They're like, Dre, 
don't pass this up now. You know, think about it. Dre then goes down to the server room. Dre goes in the server room and Dre cuts off all the internets. So they're no longer streaming. I'm looking like, bitch. Dre, what you do? What you, why you do that? I said, Dre, this why they did not go to Ronda's funeral. This why we didn't have no funeral for Ronda because you did something dumb. I was very upset when Dre did that. I was like, why would he do that? This motherfucker here. Um, what's why would you why would you pick what? I can't but I was so mad at Dre. And Dre's sexy. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Dre Bias is really cute. I was very upset with your little sexy self. Anywho, when Cookie and Lucius and all then realized the internet is like what's going on, the whole server's down. He like they locked us out of the server. Can't believe they would do that. Here comes Dre. It wasn't them, it was me. I said, Did you have a death wish? You already tried to kill your daddy. He hated you. He gonna murder you, boy. Run. And he said, I can't believe you would do this. And I'm like, boy, why? Like, I did it because it was our only option. Like, I cut it on. It's a, it's a fail safe. It's on a timer. When it comes back on, it would be open to the public. It won't just be open to subscribers and people who pay for the app. Everyone can see it. Every, it can go over all over the world. He like, so I basically did something good. He like, before the server was up, it had like a, a, a um, payment cap, meaning... I guess only so many people could see. I don't know. Or maybe only people who, of course, paid to see it could see it. But if he made it public, anyone can see it on all phones and Androids everywhere. It's all on everywhere. So, Cookie, like, all right, all right, cool. People, in 15 minutes, I need you, well, I need y'all to have everybody on your little social medias, go to our site. Everything, everything, everything. We're going to have a big, big, big announcement. It's going to knock your socks off. But share it share on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and all these things or whatever. Um, so we then see Jamal walk in. And then they're like, well, we need, now we need something great. What, what we going to break? What we going to do? Jamal, I'm sorry, y'all. Jamal looks at Lucius and he just shakes his head yes. I said, for the first time, Jamal going to do something he want to do. And he kind of didn't do it like what a, he wasn't too mad about it or whatever. So he then calls his band. And like, I, I need a favor, you know. My family's in a tight, it's a tight spot, you know. We need to come out at my family's event. It's like, you just you just said yesterday it wasn't about that. He like, it's not even about that now. It ain't about money or fame. But I'm, we're trying to prevent, you know what I'm saying, someone from taking my family's legacy. And I just need y'all help. I, I owe y'all one. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it, but I'm like, if we in the group. We sh you shouldn't owe me one. You know what I'm saying? Like we a group, bitch. Whatever. Um. So at that point, you know, they all say yes except Tori. I can't believe you would. I would not ask you to do that. You know, you need to stop, um, doing stuff to make your daddy happy. I said, bitch, is you I? You got balls, girl. Anywho, at that point in time, we do see Cookie and Lucius come out to give a speech. To everyone because now it's live all across the world. So we see all kind of people. Doctors and lawyers and people at the bus stops. And you know, people, just people of all races and everybody. You know, and they're just talking about basically they want to keep Empire and their family. Because it was their dream that they worked hard for. And they're not trying to let it be taken. They say Eddie's the devil. He didn't want to take their company and, you know what I'm saying, sell it off or whatever. And that's not what they want. And it was really powerful to see. They kept showing different black people. Honestly, they did. You know, just different kind of people watching them talk about, you know what I'm saying? We were poor black in, in, in dire circumstances. We made a way out of no way. And we built this empire. And they're trying to take it from us. You know what I'm saying? Be a part of the um, team who wants to help people's dreams come true. You know what I'm saying? We did a company to make you guys feel like if we can do it, you can do it too. It was a very great speech. It was, Cookie. It was great. Okay? I loved it. So, at this point in time, while they're talking, is more and more and more and more and more money being donated. All this money being donated. So, at this point, Eddie and Patel look at nervous, bitch. They're like, what the hell is going on? Um, they had to raise, like, I think $70 million. 
And they got like oh, down to 80. Yep, they really got it. You know what I'm saying? The, the anonymous group comes out and they do perform. And everyone's so shocked and surprised at who it is. We even see Tori looks crazy ass popped up. I guess she was high. She took a pill. Now she calm. Um, she popped up to help them too. She came out on stage. So she was over her little diva antics. Um, and they raised the money because Eddie is pissed because they're like, you know what I'm saying? They beat your ass. They beat you. You lost. I didn't lose. They didn't beat me. I'm always, I have something else up my sleeve. Look, bro, bye. At this point, they have enough money to buy it. Um, so, Patel is kind of sort of done at this point in time. Um, because he like, I ain't going no higher, bitches. It ain't going to happen. Um, but, A, like, you know, it ain't over. It ain't over. So, at this point in time, we see, um, Cookie and Lucius at the house. And they was talking just about how they love each other and how they deaf for each other. And they number one. They had sex. Let's just call it what it is. They had sex. They finally do the nasty. Um, since season one. Yeah, Cookie and Lucia they had sex in season one. This is season four? I don't know what season this is. Anyway, because it's like 2.30 in the morning. Um, but yeah, they had sex, one leg and all. And the next morning, they at the table eating breakfast. They both seem really l relaxed. Okay, I'm saying say, sex would do that, bitch. Um, and well, I need to say... Eddie and Giselle are here. I'm like, now why Eddie and Giselle there early in the morning for breakfast? What's going on here? So, you know what I'm saying? They pop up, like, you know what I'm saying? We're here at the courtesy. You know, we're going to give you one last chance to save yourselves. And they're like, bitch, nigga, what? Forget you. Um, What you here? What you want? Let's spit it out. They pull out. But they, add, they bring up shine, you know. Lucius, I, I remember how, you know, you're always about the thug life and you're so violent or whatever and how you do things, you know. You've always been the same kind of person. You always just resort to violence. He said, well, I suggest you get the fuck out of my house before I resort to it again. He's like, see, that right there. You know? What about Shine? He's like, what about Shine? Shine had all these enemies or whatever, 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 whatever. Giselle, who is uh, Nicole Ari Parker's character, pulls out a scarf. It's the damn ass cut that Lucius stupidly, stupidly put around Shine's body when he killed him. I still didn't understand that. You never put a piece of your stuff with your DNA on it, on a dead body. You just don't do that, especially when you kill him. No, Jesus, you don't not start, man. So he said, you know, what Giselle says, your people aren't loyal. You know, I offer them some money. And then Cookie gonna say, you probably offer them more than that. She probably just might have with somebody. Anywho, we offered them some money. And Luke's lips started flying or whatever. And so, they gave us this and things just kind of happened. Um, because your goons was, start, was talking. And they ain't real goons then, okay? Um, so he says, either we'll draw your beer from Empire. Or I'm going to the police and you'll go to jail for life. For murder. For shine. And that's how the episode goes. I don't know why this was for that. So the episode goes off. Um, it was good. You know what I'm saying? I think I feel like Star's episode this week better than I like Empire. Um, the finale of both episodes next week looks for fucking now. I know. I can't wait. Um, so yeah. Put your comments below, people. I am all set. I am on done, baby. Okay. I am Jaylee. <laughs> this is Jaylee's Corner. Peace.